Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel, Avery Street Design Studio. Today we're going to do a fun project that I like to do. We've been doing this clock for a really long time. Uh, it's a barn door clock with metal numbers made out of cedar. You can make it out of uh, pallet wood if you like. Um, the cedar looks really nice when it's finished and it's lightweight and our customers seem to enjoy it. Uh, the total cost in the materials for the wood is about $12. Um, there's five metal numbers that we put on. Those are about $4 a piece, so pretty inexpensive. And they sell for about $300, so uh, if you were so inclined, you could make it and sell it and make a pretty good profit. So um, I've got all the pieces pre-cut, and I'll put the measurements of the pieces on the screen. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started building it and walk you through it, and um, I hope you enjoy it. So the overall dimensions of the clock are 22 inches wide by 32 inches tall. Um, the side pieces are about, or I'm sorry, the bottom rails are 21 inches, and the side rails are 26 and a half, give or take. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling it, and we'll get into the cross pieces once I'm done with that. But uh, if you would please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, and Click the notifications for our next video coming up. We really appreciate it. Uh, once I've got the top and bottom rails attached, I like to sand the inside of the clock because once all the pieces are put on, it's virtually impossible to get a good sand on them, so keep that in mind. I don't completely sand them smooth because it's a rustic clock and you want to leave it looking a little bit uh, rustic. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the side pieces on. So now that we have the frame, the outside frame of the clock attached, uh, we need to do the X in the middle. Um, the best way I have found to do it, hundreds of these into the business, um, is lay each piece on top of one another from corner to corner and get a bevel gauge so you can find your exact uh, angle. And this one is 27 inches, so I cut the top and the bottom of each of the piece uh, so they match. And then we can work on the X in a minute. And I just mark close to where that's going to be and cut them out. See that it's super tight fit. And come back with the other piece. Line it up with each corner and then just kind of mark that middle. Now I always cut these a little bit long just in case they aren't exact and I can 
trim them ever so slightly if I need to. And this angle is different from the other angle. This angle is right at about 38 degrees. Now you see we have a tight fit on all the corners and in the middle. Take it apart and glue it and nail it in. sand so I can fill all the holes with the wood filler. But before I do that, I need to find the center of the clock and make the hole for the mechanism and the uh, recess in the back for the mechanism. So we have to make a recess in the back of the clock for the mechanism to fit down in because the you can see the face of the clock is really thick and you know so, so. you can make a jig to do this if you do it more than one, so I just do it freehand. So I've got a straight cutting router bit in the router. Uh, I got the plunge base on it so we can just sink down and go. Um, so make sure you wear your safety glasses because the shavings go everywhere. You can see we got plenty of room to screw the nut on when we're ready to put the clock together. Now, after we do the recess for the mechanism, uh, I put a couple strips on the back to keep it again, uh, keep it from laying flat against the wall. It would stick out a little bit. So these are 14 inches long. Um, on the back, a little, a little bit up in the bottom. This also gives you somewhere to screw your hanger into when it's finished.
Now our uh, wood filler is dry. We're gonna give the back a quick sand and then do the front and get ready to finish it. has been glazed and lacquered and we're ready to put the hard wire on and the numbers on. Uh, we'll start with the hanger and sand off any of the glaze we might have got on the back. It's not usually very much. Just clean it up a little bit. Flip it over. And we're starting with the top, 
towards me and we'll start with the 12. So here's the finished clock. We did the uh, cedar wood with uh, Van Dyke brown glaze and lacquer for the finish. And we just got uh, metal house numbers. You can get them at Home Depot. Um, and clock parts. Pretty nice looking clock. Super easy to build. Um, and it's got about $12 worth of wood in it. So if you're so inclined, good way to make some money. That's about it for today. I really appreciate you guys being here and I look forward to our next one. And until then, I'll see you later.